Hello everyone, that's a part of the Project Open Mic audience. This is Andre, and this is another Andre's mic. I'm not going to be so uh, Whitfield and bantery um, as I am sometimes. It's just this particular subject matter isn't the time or the place for that. Now, over this last weekend, there have been several things that have happened, and they have negatively affected the black community in general and one man almost well one man was going to be accused of threatening a white woman while he asked her to leash her dog as they were out at a park she ended up having that backfire on her that's okay but the implication is that she was going to call police and say a black man was threatening her and could have ruined this man's life because she didn't like that he asked her to do something And there were several other events that happened. I've not cataloged everything, but I've seen stuff posted up on Twitter. I've seen different news feeds. It's like the world is going to real crap. And then there's the George Floyd situation that happened in Minnesota. And the protests that are happening following said event where people are being tear gassed I don't know all the details I mean I've heard that it was rioting and I heard that it was peaceful and part of me believes that it may have started off peacefully and then something popped off I don't know for sure because I'm not there but the thing that really bugs me and is bugging a lot of people is that there is this trend of when things happen, like another police officer has killed another black male, and it's just like, I try my best to keep my nose clean of things. I try to stay out of trouble, try to stay away from things that'll throw me immediately in jail or even put me in the line of sight of a police officer negatively. And I do security work, so... I mean, part of me would think I'd be okay, but at the same time, given the wrong circumstances or the wrong person that day, I could end up like another another statistic. I've already got several things working against me as it is in my personal life that I've kind of talked about on here. I haven't disclosed everything, but I've talked about on And then I look at this situation with George Floyd and he was being pinned down and the officer had his knee on his neck. Like the man was calling out saying he couldn't breathe and he started calling out for his mother because he he knew he was going. He was fading. He knew he was. Doesn't matter what the arrest was for. It does not. I don't care if he slightly resisted. It does not matter. But like you already had the man in cuffs. You already had him pinned down. What purpose did it serve to put your body's weight on his on his throat? What purpose did it serve? And but like in the officers that were there with this other officer, but like why didn't no one say, but like, yo, hold up, look, back up a step. You shouldn't be on top of him like that. It's becoming a thing where it's a constant, like there's this, just this. And then you got the situation with Ahmad Aubrey, where he was followed and gunned down. And I've seen different people's perspectives on that. And it's like, why is this constantly happening? Like, Truthfully, why is this constantly happening? Why are so many people, so many black people just being offed? Like one one situation where the people were following Ahmaud Aubrey, they really should not have done that. If they suspected him something, then they should have called the police. They shouldn't have gone into vigilante justice. And I've seen breakdowns of this video, that video, and there was actually one breakdown where it showed, like, 
he was being shot at before he rounded back around that car. Like the, where the sound cues were, he was being pointed like in. If you slow it down, like watching it in full speed, you're not going to catch it. Like, but if you slow it down and look at it, the the guy pulled the gun on him before he was even near him. He got out the car and pulled the gun out. Now, in this case, he should have listened to his father because apparently in the nine one one call, his father told him not to get out the car. He should have listened shouldn't have got out the car but then again they shouldn't have been following him that would have saved a whole lot of trouble if they suspected him of something call the police say the direction that he's headed but don't put yourself in that position but then you kind of worry about that because this other situation with George Floyd apparently Again, I don't know all of the facts. This is what I've seen and heard, and I've different sources say somewhat different things. But apparently, he was being detained over what was possibly a bounced or bad check because it was looked at as he was trying to trying to be fraudulent. If that was the case, it's still not still not an excuse for what happened to him Uh, who's to say like what he did was intentional like you don't know now you have no clue this man's life is over he can't answer for himself he can't say anything about what happened he has no voice anymore his voice was literally stomped out stamped out he can't defend himself and he can't provide a counterpoint he can't speak on what happened. He's gone. And and worse yet, is that there are multiple these situations, both with him and Ahmad Aubrey, people recorded this. You get to witness these people dying. You get to witness this. And this is becoming a very screwed up world. A very screwed up world. Again, I'm not going to pretend I know everything about what happened. I'm not going to pretend that I'm 100% right about everything here. But just how it looks, it's like... It's crappy. And there are people dying that don't actually have to die for any reason. And you can justify how you think these situations went and you can say well Ahmaud Arbery was stealing or whatever but like whatever if you feel like he was being a thief that's fine he should be arrested and in jail he shouldn't have been shot to death shouldn't have been hunted down and shot to death that's not how that that's supposed to be done if George Floyd's check was fraudulent He shouldn't have had his neck pressed on until he died. That shouldn't have happened. There was no reason for it. I don't care who it is. Like, I would be pissed off no matter who it was that this happened to. Like, but the fact that I'm a black male and I'm talking about this because that could be me someday just by mistaken identity. And it's not like I haven't been threatened by police before. It's happened several times in my life before. In most cases, I've been able to get away from those things unharmed. But it's not like it's and it's not like it's something that's impossible to happen. And it's not like it's something that's impossible to happen to my brothers, my friends, my son eventually. It could happen. This is something that I I look at. It just. The anger you feel. You you feel sick. Your stomach twists itself. You can feel the anger boiling in you. And then part of you feels like you can't do anything. Because there aren't enough people that will be supportive of your position. Or there aren't enough people who will say. You know what we're going to stand with you in this. 
We're going to stand with you in this. We're going to deal with this with you. We're not going to let this keep happening. Like, I, I don't care that people have opposing viewpoints. You can have an opposing viewpoint. The point I'm making is that people shouldn't be dying for simple non-violent crimes if they are crimes. It shouldn't be happening. I wouldn't want somebody who was walking down the street with some crack cocaine on them to be shot to death by a police officer. Yeah, arrest them. Do whatever you're going to do. Arrest them for the crime that they committed. But don't murder them. Don't kill them. Don't take this person's life. Give them an opportunity to be able to, you know, fix the situation if there is a crime committed. Like, people use that as a defense. Like, that's not a defense. Unless your crime is absolutely a violent crime and you are taking someone else's life or attempting to take someone else's life, it does not matter. It doesn't. And there's no justification for that. None. None. You wouldn't want that to be your son, your daughter, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your aunt, your niece, your nephew, your mother, your father, your grandparents. You wouldn't want it to be somebody related to you. You wouldn't want it to be someone close to you. You wouldn't want to be worrying about your friends walking out on the street and being killed just for existing. You wouldn't want that. No one wants that. So there should not be any justification for when somebody does something wrong. And it doesn't matter if it's a police officer. It doesn't matter if they're part of the military. It doesn't matter if they're secret service. It doesn't matter if they're a security guard. It does not matter if what position they hold where it comes to law enforcement or anything of that nature. It does not matter. If there's somebody doing something wrong, then there should be consequences for those people. And no, I do not think that just firing them is fair. They took this man's life. They need to stand trial for it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They took this man's life. They need to stand trial for it. It doesn't make a bit of difference. Because there's no reason that... Let me calm down. Things can be handled better. They can be taken care of and handled in much better ways. And that's what should be happening. And I know that there are protocols that exist for these situations. And it's like they're blatantly being disregarded or they're being twisted in a manner that, you know, hey, it doesn't matter. We can do whatever. It's, there's a disparity on these things and it needs to be addressed it needs to be taken care of and it needs to be you know set to rights we want to say everybody's equal but we don't treat everybody equally we want to say everybody has an opportunity to do something but then we don't give that opportunity across the board that's the problem and you know what? Yeah, I, I get that there are some things that are just particular traits of certain types of people, whether that be based on your race, your gender, your sexuality, your mental wellness. There are some traits that just go across particular lines of people. That doesn't mean that everybody's exactly the same. There's just that some things travel, travel across groups. That's still not an excuse because until you know that individual you don't know what's going on with them you don't know what's happening in their life you don't know anything about them you don't know what they're trying to do and this happens so often like the the guy that was complying with police officers got shot in his back or there was a the guy that was selling I think he was selling CDs or DVDs in a mall parking lot or something like that got gunned down had no weapons wasn't doing anything or there was the guy that was in the car with his girlfriend and his daughter and told the police officer that he had a gun and he was a licensed gun owner and he was going to get 
his car to show it to the officer and got gunned down in the car with the little girl in the car behind him. That girl, the little girl could have been shot. The girlfriend could have been shot. This man just jumped, went off on knowing that the guy was a gun owner. But like, but that's what they're, what you, if you're a gun owner, you're trained to do that. If you're licensed to carry, you are trained to do that. So that you know the police officer doesn't just stumble upon it. There are situations where this type of stuff does not need to happen. And it's just like, I, I think that there has been such a, a miss appropriation of how people are in the media and it, that possibly is part of the reason that this stigma is so deep where people will just assume that all black people are violent no we're not violent not all of us there are some crazies but that's the same across any other racial profile whether you are a white person whether you are Hispanic whether you are Asian it 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 doesn't matter. They're like there are nuts people everywhere, in every genetic makeup. It it it's just frustrating to see so many people are losing their lives in situations where it could be highly prevented. But years ago, like there was this guy shooting at police with the intent to kill them. He was a white dude. They beanbagged him. This man had intent to kill them. They used beanbags. I'm not complaining that they use beanbags on this guy. My complaint is there are situations where officers have the tools. If they need to subdue someone and they don't have a weapon on them, it's better to use those alternatives rather than going straight to lethal bullets and killing someone. <clears throat> there's too much of this happening and like and and I also remember the, the boy that like he was I think he was actually white he was a white kid and there was a a call made about some sort of disturbance at his house and he was playing a game on the Wii with his his younger sister police officer walks up to the house knocks on the door is a female officer I believe and she gunned him down because he had a I think he had a black Wii remote in his hand and this boy died in his younger sister's hand like this is the type of stuff that needs to stop happening this needs to stop happening we have too many people that are either trigger happy or negligent in their actions that wear a police uniform and I'm not saying it's all police officers because I know it's not all police officers there are just some very crappy ones out there that are either ready to pull the trigger at the drop of a hat even when the situation doesn't call for it or they're just you know taking out their anger in ways that they shouldn't One way or the other, things need to change. Something needs to change. Because if this keeps up, this country is going further down the tank than it already is. That's just a that's an observation. That this country will go further down the tank than it already is. If these things don't get fixed and people don't start getting held accountable for their actions, whether or not whether or not they are wearing a uniform. It needs to happen. It really, truly needs to happen before this breaks off into something much larger in scale that people can't handle. And a lot more lives get taken over this nonsense. It needs to happen now. I don't care who implements the changes. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, whether you are conservative, whether you're liberal, I don't care about that. I don't care what your race is in this situation outside of, you know, hey, this, this is a show of support. Because, again, I'm not trying to sit here and place blame on people that aren't in the situations. 
but you you've got to notice the disparity and have to be aware of it. And if you want to pretend it doesn't exist, that is a problem. It's fine to say you don't believe in it and that you don't participate in it, but don't pretend it doesn't exist. It does. It just makes me worry about the possible future and what may happen to myself or family members or friends or, or anyone that, that I find it, that's important to me. And that's something I will openly say. It's something I'm worried about now. I'm like, before, I wasn't worried, but I did pay some attention to these things. But it's getting worse. And it's happening more often and it's just to the point where I don't I don't have a positive feeling about how things are going. And I'm worried about exactly what's going to happen. Like it takes one simple misunderstanding and somebody's dead. And it keeps happening. It shouldn't be happening, especially for things that are possible nonviolent crimes. It shouldn't be happening. But it is. I, I don't even know what else to say or add to this, but it's just... I'm hoping that at some point, people will wake up and realize that we're better off working together to help each other rather than being so prepared to antagonize each other. So I really don't know where to keep going with this. There's celebrities speaking out about this. There's politicians speaking out about this. There's people from all sorts of different walks of life talking about this right now. So the consensus to me says that the majority of people don't agree with this crap that's going on and if the majority of people don't agree with this crap that's going on then that means that there's something that the majority of people can do to change it there's something that the majority of people can do to help the situation and that needs to be done before this starts to bleed out further and further and further and more people just die and, it, and eventually whether anyone wants to believe it or not, it won't just be black people. It won't just be Hispanic people. Then it won't just be Asian people. It won't just be Indian people. It won't just be people from. <clears throat> it won't just be. <laughs> Gosh, it, it just it will not stop in one place. It will eventually spread out further until this becomes. A regular thing that people just start to get used to and become desensitized to. And that should not be the case. But I've expended as much as I can on this. And if I keep going with the energy I'm feeling in the, into this, I'm just going to start becoming the negative person I don't want to be. And I'm trying to hold out hope that people will start to, you know, look out for each other. And when they see an injustice like this, that we all band together to make sure that that injustice is, you know, taken care of. Not necessarily saying you have to do the exact same thing to the people that did it, but there should be a punishment for it. There shouldn't, it shouldn't just be, oh, well, this officer is fired or they have an extended uh we we have they have an extended leave of absence no like they need to go to jail they need to go to j they need to be in prison they need to stand trial for what they did that's what needs to happen but i'm done and yeah i have nothing else to say Bye, everyone.